So the sum of two digit numbers A, B and C, D is the three digit number 1, C, E. So what we have given is you have two digit number A, B. You are adding with this three digit, uh, two digit number C, D. Then you are getting a three digit number 1, C, E. Okay. And where the letters A, B, C, D, E denote distinct digits. All the digits are different. I need, I need to find the value of A. So, since we are asked to find the value of A, we are only focusing on this part. Okay. So, there are two scenarios. So, so let's say if you are adding these digits A and C, uh, either there are two scenarios. One is the when you add B and D, there is a carry or there is a scenario where there is no carry. Maximum carry you are going to get is 1. So, here there are two cases. Okay. Case 1, when you are adding this B plus D, there is no carry. And case 2 is when you are adding B plus D, there is a carry of 1. That is a maximum carry you will get. When you are adding two single digit numbers, okay. That is a maximum is 9 plus, uh, they are different, right. So, 9 plus 8, that is a max uh, sum you are going to get. 9 plus 8, which is uh, uh, 70. So, 1 is a carry max you are going to get. Okay, so there are two cases. So, I am going to analyze in detail. What happens if there is no carry and what happens if there is a carry? Because we know that this is going to be a starting with, the sum is going to be starting with 1. So, in no carry means when you are adding A and C, you will be getting 1C. Or, to form an equation, it is same as 10 plus C. You are getting a two-digit number 1C, which is equal to 10 plus C, correct? So, this is what you are getting. So that means you can see, you can if you simplify it, C is getting cancelled, you are getting the value of A will be equal to 10. We clearly know that A is a single digit number. So that means this case is not possible. So I don't need to consider case 1. So definitely there will be a carry from the uh, from adding B plus D here. Okay, there will be a carry of 1. So I need to consider case 2. So that means as per case 2, A, then you have a carry of 1. Then you are adding C you will be getting 10 plus C, correct? This is the sum you are getting after adding 1 as carry, correct? So, if you simplify it further, C is getting cancelled, value of A is equal to 9. Yeah, you got the value of A. The question is asking you to find what is the value of A. Definitely, you are able to get an answer for that. So, 9 is the right answer. So, option A is the right answer for this question. So, this is the best approach you could use in this question. So, you don't need to bother about the other digits about B, D and E, that is not necessary because question is asking you to find the value of A. So, you only focus on that part. 